Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. How are we doing today? Are we sad, happy? Let me know in the comments. What's the first thing that comes up to your mind when you hear the word McDonald? McFlurry, McNuggets, or Ronald McDonald the Clown? Dun, dun, dun. To me, it's the McDonald bench. Remember back in the days, there's always going to be a bench outside of every McDonald with Ronald McDonald sitting on it? But nowadays, we don't actually see Ronald McDonald anymore. So what happened to him? Let's talk about it. McDonald originated in 1944 in California and it was initially being called the McDonald's Barbecue Restaurant. The first McDonald opened in Illinois on April 15, 1955, and ever since then, McDonald has had uber success and skyrocketed, and now it's everywhere. In 1966, Ronald McDonald, the hamburger happy clown, was introduced to the public. The creation of the mascot has split the crowd into two groups. There are people who think Ronald McDonald is a fun character and he represents their childhood but on the opposite side of the coin are those who think Ronald McDonald is a creepy scary clown who's gonna haunt you in your dream. But regardless to that, Ronald McDonald has been representing this renowned fast food chain for decades. So why after so many years did the Golden Arches decided to pull him away from the promotion? In 2016, there's a rash of really spooky clown sightings across the United States. It was reported that people dressed up as clowns with a knife on their hand and committing crimes like chasing, kidnapping, stalking, even murdering. The whole thing was so big, it had spread it all around the world. And it was then McDonald decided to distance themselves from the worrying news. In a press statement, they announced, McDonald's and franchises in the local market are mindful of the current climate around clown sightings in communities and as such are being thoughtful in respect to Ronald McDonald's participation in community events for the time being. But that wasn't the only reason. Throughout the years, people have been criticizing McDonald's was using Ronald McDonald to promote unhealthy fast food to impressionable kids. So ever since 2012, McDonald's has spent more than six billions of dollars rebranding themselves from the interior of the restaurant down to the menu to make their restaurants more appealing to adults. That's why every McDonald's we go to nowadays looks like a cafe with kiosks inside. I guess it's time to say goodbye to children's playgrounds and all the happy memories. I remember I celebrated birthdays at McDonald's. These were the good old days. But do you also know, there's actually an urban legend regarding to Ronald McDonald and the McDonald benches. Around 2005 in Mexico, two young men went out drinking one night and they left the club feeling hungry. So they were looking around what kind of place they can still go to around midnight. And finally they settled to a McDonald's because most McDonald's open 24-7. Both of them got a Big Mac meal, classic. Then they took a seat outside the Ronald McDonald bench. They were eating and talking about what a fun night that they had. After finished eating, one man stood up to throw his trash away while another one laid his head down on Ronald McDonald's lap and said, Dude, I'm tired. Just then, Ronald McDonald's head turned and looked down directly at him and said, I'm tired too, and touched his head. And allegedly, one of the young men died from a heart attack of being shocked, and another one is still in a coma. Supposedly, the security camera had captured everything that night, and it was rumored that McDonald had paid a huge amount of money to the family and the authorities to keep the security tape secret and to cover up the whole incident itself. Now, whether this urban legend really happened or not is questionable to say the least, but whether the incident has supposedly spread throughout the countries, more and more McDonald's have already replaced the Ronald McDonald benches to just regular ones. So what are your thoughts? Do you think the urban legend was real? Let me know in the comments. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.